Tinubu and Atiku went missing during the town hall meeting. Now is the turn of the vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party standing in for fellow Nigerians. It's happening again. Abubakar, Governor Ifan Yokoa of Delta State, vice presidential candidate, People's Democratic Party. Fellow Nigerians. It's happening again. The first for coming this evening. In the first instance, I stand for Atikwa Baka, the presidential candidate of the PDP. And I'm very much aware that there was a communication to him and he's outside the country. I don't know. Do they even take this country serious? Do they take the citizens of Nigeria serious? Are they even looking at this job as a serious job? How can they not make themselves available? And we duly obtain the permission of the organizers of this program for him to be represented. We know all the time that INEC has given to these candidates. It's a town hall meeting, and that permission was duly given. And I think that that solves the problems of the agitation that was going on. We know all the time that INEC gave for them to get prepared before the actual campaign begins. When it's time for debates, we get into debates. But this time, it's a town hall meeting. It's about informing the people. At so at this moment, none of the presidential candidate is supposed to, you know, be absent. None of them, because they've been given enough time. They've been given enough time, you know, for them to take their time and get themselves ready. The Tinubu was recently in the UK, you know, to, for medical attention. And he said... He is coming that when he comes, he will come like a lion, you know. He will come like a lion. Now we are seeing that he's not even fit enough to attend town hall meeting. Nigerians, don't make this mistake again. Please, don't make this mistake again. This is a signal that God is giving to us. This is a signal and don't ignore it. These people will not be in charge when they come into office. Peter Obi has always told them, come out and tell Nigerians, let it come out from your mouth, not depending on manifesto that someone else has written for you. Yes, you will get your manifesto, but come out and tell Nigerians what you'll be doing for them. So why was Tinubu absent in this town hall meeting? Why was Atiku absent? Why were they absent? They were given enough time to get ready for their campaigns, you know. And now campaigns have started. They should be ready for any call-up call, you know. Anytime they are called up, whether it is in the morning, at noon, any moment that they have an urgent message to come for a debate, anytime they are called up for something as important as this town hall meeting, they should make themselves available. Honestly, Nigerians pay attention to the health of these people. They are old enough. I'm not making a jest of them. It's a thing of joy that they are old. It's a thing of joy, you know, they are, that they've attained to this age, you know. It's a thing of joy. But would they be able to handle the issues Nigeria is facing today? considering their age and considering oh, their health conditions. So guys, I don't know what you have to say about this, that Tinubu and Atiku were not present in the town hall meeting. Please do me a favor. Leave your comments below. Let me know what your mind is. Let me know what your thoughts are. Please, that these two presidential candidates that claim that they've, they've tested government, that they've gained all the experience, each time there is an important public event, they are never available, just like our present president that does not make himself available. He doesn't talk to Nigerians. He doesn't visit places when there is any calamity. There was a communication to him and he's outside the country. And we duly obtained the permission of the organizers of this program for him to be represented. It's a town hall meeting. And that permission was duly given. And I think that that solves the problems of the agitation that was going on. So, fellow Nigerians, what do you have to say about this? That these two presidential candidates were not available at the town hall meeting. So, this is how they are going to run Nigeria. They've given us manifesto, oh, that people wrote for them. My heart bleeds. Nigerians, my heart bleeds. When I look at this, when I consider all this, I keep wondering, the youths that are supporting Atiku, the youths that are supporting Tinubu, what have they given to these youths to buy their conscience? 
that even when it's so glary, even when they can see the handwriting on the wall, they still, you know, keep following these politicians because of monetary gain, because they will be given money. Fellow obedience, I want to beg you, if you are there, you are an obedient. Please never regret a moment being an obedient. This is a battle. Let's fight it to the end. And if you've not joined the obedient family, what are you waiting for? Peter Obi stands out. Peter Obi is the only person that comes out to talk to the people. He's the only one that visits the people when they are in sorrow. Peter Obi is the only one that is connected, you know, with the people. Peter Obi is the only person that makes himself available to everybody. An amazing person, Peter Obi is. So fellow Nigerians, I beg you, watch the handwriting on the wall. The handwriting on the wall. God is already giving us signal. God is giving Nigerian signal. These two presidential candidates that went missing, honestly, that is how their names will be removed from the book of voting on that day. God will blind the eyes of Nigerians not to see Atiku. Neither will they see Tinubu. They will only see the right person that will come to salvage this country. We need a savior. We need a savior. We need a savior. We need a savior. Nigeria needs to be saved. We need a new Nigeria. And now is the time for a new Nigeria to arise, for a new Nigeria to emerge. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends and families. Thank you.